God love with Pat's two cents. We are God's remnant at God's Church of Love online, comforting and encouraging one another in the Lord. God leads people to do that. I have felt led. Yeah. Give this person a hug. They need to feel my love. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen God do that. Yeah, yeah it was so genuine too. When she got real, it was so yes. genuine. So I feel like you know, because I, I don't want to get too deep on it. You know, I. You know, you, you've been going through so much for so many years. Yeah, like, it's just like you need to be loved. You need to feel the love. Like, right. I, I feel, you know, I just feel alone and just right stuff. See, sometimes God one of us. Yes, it he does. He does. It's so hard. So hard. <laughs> yeah, I believe that I, you know God is with me because like God, I'm doing this and doing that. Like Rashad, Rashad, just uh, Rashad, Rashad. Mm -hmm. Put something in your hand. Just put something small in your hand, like a coin or something from your pocket. Put something in your hand, in the palm of your hand. Okay. Okay. Now look at it. Now. Okay. Imagine it's either a silver dollar, a gold coin, or a diamond. Okay? Now, imagine the other hand has mud. And you reach over that hand and some mud drops down on top of that diamond, the gold, or the coin. Does that make that gold coin or that diamond any less a gold coin or any less a diamond? No. Huh? No matter. Right. So mm -hmm. your golden heart will remain golden whether you keep your hands clean or not. The bottom line is you're not living in your error. You're tripping over it. And you're getting mess on you, but you're not messy. It, it, there is a difference. There is a difference between fighting your way out of out of uh, a, a, a sinkhole or fighting your way um, out of uh, out of quicksand than it is jumping in quicksand and thinking that's the way to go. Do you understand what I mean? Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a difference, Rashad. Um, even when I was caught up, when I was caught up, I had been saved for years, and I got raped, uh, and I, I ended up getting caught up in sexual sin after I was saved. And the whole time I was running to God with it, God, what's wrong? Why am I so needy in that area? Lord, blah, 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 blah. God began to minister to me. You had a husband for eight years that didn't want you physically, and you have been left wanting in that area. So I need to fill that void. So you have to keep coming to me. Even if you're dirty, keep coming to me. And within a couple of years, I got cleaned up and I got my head screwed back on right with all the healing God did. He never put me down. He knew I was doing wrong, but he knew I was coming to him for help. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? God was my father. He wasn't just my taskmaster. He wasn't just the dean of my life. He was my father, my counselor, my healer. And to this day, it's because of his love, patience, and understanding that I have not missed out on him. Not because of my perfection, but because of the perfection of his love and his understanding. Right. That is powerful, Pat. And that's the truth. Yeah. It's true. God knows a heart that's asking for help. And he does Amen. not give up. He does not. He said that Jesus does not break a, um, a bruised reed. He won't break a bruised reed. What's that? Imagine a, a, a little twig or a branch on a tree that's been bruised or damaged somehow. Jesus oh. won't walk up to it and break it off because it, it got damaged. 
Mm. He yeah, won't. And he won't. And another thing yeah. he says he won't do in that same scripture, he won't uh, snuff out a smoking flax. So if there's just smoke left, if there's just smoke left, that means there's heat down in the core, even if the outside looks ashen and, and, and bare. But he will help fan it and bring it back to life and spark, spark it back to the flame rather than put it out. Which means whatever's in you that's of God, he will do his best to bring it back to the surface. Even if you've almost given up on yourself, he will reach out to you. He will not put you out when you're so discouraged with yourself. Because Amen. if you're discouraged with yourself, that means you want God. You can't be discouraged with yourself because you failed God if it didn't matter to you. Right. Oh. So be encouraged. Yeah, you be encouraged, babe. God knows how much things matter to you, to me, to Marlene, to Andrea, to Peter. He knows how much things mean to us. He knows how it gets us yeah. down when we disappoint yeah. ourselves and him too. So don't you, don't you throw yourself away. That diamond God made you, you're still a diamond. Right, you just have to fight. It's just take one day at a time. And we don't always win every battle, but we will no, ultimately right. win the war. Right, and you took the words out of my mouth, because I say that all the time. I may have lost the battle, but I haven't lost the war. Right. And you're, it's, and that's why Jesus came and died for us, because we lose battles. That's what we do, because we're in the flesh. Right. And it's only after we sometimes you got to mature sometimes it takes the age and sometimes it mature. takes healing and sometimes it takes, it takes deliverance it takes whatever pride. but it takes pride. all we got to do is keep going to him just keep going right. to him <laughs> don't give up on him right i don't care how you nasty feel you feel or how funky you stink you keep going never to him. give up on him right daddy i boo-booed on my diaper again right <laughs> that's right 